the Vancouver Canucks are already confirmed to be playing a play-in series against the Minnesota Wild. If they win, they get into the final 16 and they're in the Stanley Cup playoffs. That is the biggest distinction that I think a lot of people are kind of missing out on here, is that the play-in rounds are not going to count as quote-unquote playoff hockey. That's something that people have talked about and debated online, but it was actually confirmed that the stats, etc., the stuff from the play-in rounds isn't going to count on the actual playoffs, rankings and all that. Meaning that the Vancouver Canucks are not in the playoffs, but if they can beat the Minnesota Wild in a best 3 out of 5 series, then they will be in the playoffs. Now this system is very, very interesting, because... Probably the biggest thing heading into this season that was controversial amongst many Canucks fans and media, etc., was the playoffs itself. Mostly because the Vancouver Canucks have a first round pick in 2020 that they don't have. They don't have it on the clause that they make the playoffs in 2020. This pick was sent over to the Tampa Bay Lightning in the JT Miller trade. That pick was then traded from the Lightning to the New Jersey Devils in exchange for Blake Coleman. And now the New Jersey Devils technically hold the Vancouver Canucks 2020 first. That's only if the Canucks make the playoffs, though. If the Vancouver Canucks do not make the playoffs, then they take their 2020 first back, and the 2021 first instead automatically goes to New Jersey. Now, a lot of Canucks fans were very, very confused when the Canucks ended up missing the playoffs or not being in the playoffs because the season paused up and the playoffs didn't happen. But if all the conditions are reinforced in the same way, this is how I see it. The Canucks can legitimately get their first round pick back if they lose to the Minnesota Wild. Sure, not making the playoffs sucks because that's what the Canucks have been working towards this entire season, and if the Canucks lose against the Wild, they won't be in the playoffs, which is the final 16, but they'll be getting their first round pick back for this year. And with the way the draft lottery is going, where there will be eight picks assigned to play-in losers that could win first, second, or third overall. The possibility is there that the Vancouver Canucks legitimately can win a draft lottery. Now, I'm regurgitating the same information because this is what I've been preaching in the past two videos I've made, talking about Detroit and Montreal and how the draft lottery affects their teams, but any one of these play-in teams has the potential of getting a lottery pick if they lose their play-in series and if any of these play-in loser picks wins one, two, or three in the draft lottery on June 26. Any of these teams can make it, and Vancouver is a part of that. However, if the Canucks end up losing and they don't win any of these lottery picks, then hey, that's great too, because the Vancouver Canucks will keep their first round pick. And this is actually where things get kind of interesting, because if you take a look at where all these play-in teams are, the current points percentage of all these teams, which is how they will be sorted out, goes Montreal, Chicago, Arizona, Minnesota, Winnipeg, Calgary, New York, Vancouver. These are 16 teams right here, not including the seven teams that ended up losing out on the playoffs and are in the draft lottery with their named picks, Detroit, Ottawa, Ottawa, Anaheim, Los Angeles, New Jersey, and Buffalo. And it doesn't include the eight teams that are already in the playoffs, which are Dallas, it's Boston, it's Philadelphia, it's Tampa Bay, etc. If the Vancouver Canucks lose against the Minnesota Wild, the worst they can do looks to be about 12th overall. If all of these other teams end up losing their play-in series with the Vancouver Canucks, who also lose, then Montreal will be in front of Vancouver, Chicago will be, same with Arizona, Minnesota will not be here because the Minnesota Wild would have beaten the Vancouver Canucks, they would have advanced to the final 16, and therefore their draft pick will be pushed to 16 and beyond. Winnipeg and Calgary, they cancel each other out. Those two are playing each other, so one of these teams is going to advance further, and then you have New York as well. Meaning that in a worst case scenario, you have Montreal, Chicago, Arizona, Winnipeg, or Calgary, and New York in front of Vancouver, meaning that Vancouver can probably drop to about 12. But that's only if all these other teams lose their play-in series and the draft lotteries are not won by any of the play-in losers. 
However, if those play-in loser picks end up winning the draft lotteries, then the Canucks have an equal chance as all the other play-in losers to get the first and second and third overall pick. Maybe in that alternate reality, the Canucks can drop over to 15, but it's highly unlikely. So just for the sake of keeping things easy, we'll say that the Vancouver Canucks can probably remain in, let's just say, the 9 to 12 range, depending on if they lose to the Wild and depending on the other teams that end up losing their play-in series as well. So that's why I'm labeling this as a safety blanket here. If the Vancouver Canucks win against the Wild, they make the playoffs, which is great. They wanted to do that. But if they lose, they keep the pick and the pick isn't like super low either. So there's honestly not a lose-lose situation here because if you keep your 2021st, hey, you keep your 2021st in one of the most stacked drafts that we've had in a while. And I know there's this whole argument on why the Canucks would rather make the playoffs now and give up their 2021 first to New Jersey, because there's no guarantee that the Canucks next year will be as good or even better than the Canucks this year, with the uncertainties with Jacob Markstrom's contract, the uncertainties of Chris Tanev returning, the uncertainties of injuries with Petey and Hughes and Besser, and the unlikelihood that all of this team is able to play as well as they did because they played pretty well this season, that's certainly an idea that does bring itself up, and it's why the Canucks say that they want to give up their pick this year instead of their pick next year, because this year they're already a playoff team, and they would rather give up a pick in the 20s rather than give up a pick that's a little bit earlier on next season. I get that. But still, using your 2020 draft pick wouldn't be that bad. You could still get a really good player here, even if you're dropping to an 11 or 12 overall. Who knows, do you take Jack Quinn? That would be a crazy interesting pickup. Do you take a look at any of the guys who dropped in these draft rankings and who ended up slipping, like an Alexander Holtz? Maybe a Lucas Raymond drops and you take him at 10? I don't know. Look at what happened with Pod Colson last year. That guy was supposed to be top five and he dropped. So there's certainly a reward for the Vancouver Canucks if they end up using their draft pick this season, but it's all going to rely on whether or not they're actually good enough to beat the Minnesota Wild. And a lot of people I know, people are saying that they're good enough. People are saying that it's going to be an easy, easy series. And for the most part, I can kind of agree, but... Never say never, right? As the great Justin Bieber once said, never say never to the possibility of you losing a 3 out of 5 series against one of the teams that you lost against in the regular season. Of course, I would rather see the Canucks make the playoffs and win the Stanley Cup this season than lose to the Minnesota Wild, especially with this stacked roster that it looks like the Canucks have. But if they lose, then that's not terrible. They can still get a really good player. So I think that ultimately answers the question that many people have in my comments. Oh, Lego, do the Canucks have their first round pick this year? Well, we don't know. It's going to depend on if they beat the Wild. Technically, they're not in the playoffs yet because they're not counting the play-in series as the playoffs, meaning that the Vancouver Canucks and their first round pick that's over to New Jersey, it's still up in the air. If the Canucks lose, then they get their first round pick back. Or at least, that's what I'm understanding. Obviously, if something comes out and they renegotiate the terms or whatever, and the Vancouver Canucks just end up deciding to give their first round pick this year to New Jersey, then I'll eat my words and I'll say that I was wrong. But the way that the league is talking about it, and the way the stipulations on the pick back in the draft last year have been laid out, it looks to me like the Vancouver Canucks still have that pick. It just depends on if they're going to lose or defeat the Wild. So... Comment down below what you think about this idea, because I know it's something that Vancouver Canucks fans are very insecure about. Will they have their first? Will they make the playoffs? Are they going to play well? Are they going to lose? What have you? There are so many different ideas here, but it's certainly the one that the Vancouver Canucks fan base has discussed the most, argued about the most, especially with the context of that JT Miller trade, giving up a first round pick for JT Miller, who is really good, but the Vancouver Canucks still being a team that is not in their primes just yet. It's certainly something to take a look at, and I know a lot of Canucks fans are very, very, very passionate about it, but... If the Canucks lose to the Wild, they'll probably draft somewhere from 10 to 12, worst case scenario, 15, and that's not bad. Best case scenario, though, if the Canucks lose is that one of those play-in losers wins a lottery and the Canucks end up getting a lottery pick. 
I'd be very okay with that. I don't know about you, but comment down below in the comments what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Social Nitro 99 and bye.